right. <clears throat> My opponent uh, states that uh, the job loss will not be significant because we have uh, H&R blocks throughout different countries. However, we're not talking about different countries' economies. We're talking about the U.S. economy. And the job loss, major job loss to the U.S. economy due to the flat tax would be a large, big deal, which would also uh, result in a large loss of revenue. Also, my opponent uh, talks about the corporate tax. However, their flat tax, flat tax, tax, <laughs> their flat tax proposal is not talking about corporate tax. It is talking about individual income tax. So her counterclaim would be invalid. Um, on the issue on uh, our progressive tax favoring uh, one class over the other, it is not a factor of um, particular favoring for a benefit. It's favoring over fairness because our progressive system right now, uh, the rich are not as hurt as the same way as the lower and middle classes would be if we were to change to a flat tax system. So if we were to go to a flat tax system, the lower classes would be hurt in a lar much larger way than our upper classes are hurt right now because the upper classes are able to give more. <coughs> um, Making the flat tax uh, enough to attempt the current revenue would hurt the lower middle classes. According to Kelly Phillips Erb from US News, uh, she's the author of the Tax Girl blog. Um, if the rich were to pay less, we raise it and we have to raise the same amount of money, and someone else would have to pay more. That someone else in this story is the middle class. It's really that simple. <coughs> Um, also, from John Iron of U.S. News, he is a, the research and policy director of uh, the Economic Pol uh, Policy Institute. Institute. Uh, because tax, flat tax proposals uh, propose lower rates at the top, uh, and because the top is where the increasing share of income is concentrated, they will also tend to bring significantly less uh, revenue in current tax code, resulting in higher deficits fewer public investments, and pressure to cut programs like the Social Security and Medicare. So what he's pretty much saying is that if we go to a flat tax system, um, we will no longer have Social Security for our retiring population and Medicare. Also, it will also deter growth within the economy because there will be fewer uh, public investments and the government will hire, have a higher deficit because there's less uh, revenue coming in from taxes. Um, there will still be loopholes within our tax system according to all flat tax proposals to the date. Uh, according to Robert Reich, the flat tax proposals do not eliminate popular deductions. Um, and what my opponent said was that the purpose to uh, introduce flat tax would be to take out loopholes for the uh, upper classes when in reality uh, all ta flat tax proposals uh, still propose uh, deductions and tax credits and uh, those types of things. Uh, thank you.